Now let's proceed to Endpoint Detection and Response feature set. To do that, we go to the Monitoring tab, where you can see an easy-to-use widget for EDR features that we call the Alert Card. Here you can get crucial information, like when the detection happened, what is the status, what was detected, the device name, and what's a special column that shows the technology that have been used, EPP or IOC scan. Now let's check what information we provide for admin in a special flyout with threat development chain graph. So here it is. This is how we visualize the threat development. This is the start of the root cause analysis process, and you can see all the stages of threat development at a glance and quickly understand where things went wrong and where our security application did its job. Also here, you can easily identify who is the owner of the device, what security profile is applied here, and go there with one single click. Below the graph, you see a timeline of how the threat was developing and what processes, files, network connections, or registry changes were happening. All is interactive and clickable here, and provides a lot of details on what happened what actions were performed, what was the scan mode, timestamps, and so on. Also, there is a, an ability to check detected object by using an open tip portal to get a verdict from a trusted threat intelligence source and get additional information. You can also easily leave feedback on the alert card by using this button. Up top in the alert card, you can press the three dots and isolate the host for the duration of the investigation by clicking the isolate device button. This action will help to stop the threat which can propagate quickly through the network. If you want to turn off network isolation, you are able to do it from the device card. The user will get a notification that their computer was isolated. Other response actions can be found below the threat development graph. For example, here you can prevent execution of the selected file or move it to the quarantine. If you'd like to find other devices with this file, you can add it to the IOC scan.